Hello, everybody, and welcome, welcome, welcome to um, this. This is the JTAG, and I'm doing this because Jim at Jim's Books Reading and Stuff on my uh, <clears throat> 1500 sub thing, um, instead of asking me, like, a question question, he asked me to do the tag, and so I said I'd do it um, at a later date, and now's the later date, but, before we get going here, let me just go ahead and show you this, so, um, we're up to $172, 14% of the goal, um, and, yeah, so, we kind of pulled in roughly, a <clears throat> hundred bucks since yesterday, so that's awesome. So um, make sure you go over there and um, support Fingering the Mundane. Two hundred and fifty pages of um, poetry from six different chapbooks. Um, it's gonna be awesome. All sorts of other cool shit in there too. Um, so <clears throat> that is a thing. Now, um, in reading the questions for this, it made me realize a couple things. One, it made me realize that I am not a very wide reader. I'm, I'm not widely, no, I'm not widely read, but like it made me feel like um, I just don't, I have my niches, and I don't really tend to stray far from there. So that um, kind of tripped me out a little bit. It made me realize some stuff. And maybe we'll talk about it as we go here. <clears throat> um, let me see here. Uh... So some of these are bookish and some of these aren't. So, um, and he said, Jay, uh, because you're paperback junkie, that's what that is all about. So Jay is for Japan. What is the last book you read by a Japanese author? And I was like, kind of like, oh man, probably a Mirakami book. But I can't even remember what the last Mirakami book I read was, like, in order. But then I was thinking about it. Um, let me see. Is it here? Yeah. So the last book that I've read by a Japanese author isn't this exact one. But if you look, this is um, Kanuki Man. And um, in America, it was known as Muscle Man. Um, or Muscle. Um and this was from, like, the 70s through the 80s. And if you notice, on top of... Nope, nope. On top of my bookcase here, these little pink dudes. Those are all, um, like, figures from there. And, like, I have them on other bookcases and stuff around here. But um, I absolutely loved those guys. And, um, oh, actually, let me go over here. Now, Kanuki Man is a Japanese manga series created by the duo of Yoshinori Nakai and Takashi Samada, known as Yudi Temango. Um, it follows Saguru Kanuki, a superhero who must win a wrestling tournament to retain the title of Prince of Planet Kanuki. Um, Nakai and Takashi planned the series when they were attending high school, originally as a parody of Ultraman. Now, um, <clears throat> the first, I guess the first volume, maybe, is how you would put it, um, of Kanuki Man, he is, like, fighting, like, giant monsters from outer space and shit like that that come to Japan. 
And so it's very much an uh, Ultraman parody at that. <clears throat> and, like, he has to eat garlic to get his uh, um, meter up. And it's really kind of silly. Like, he can fly if he's um, farting. Like, it propels him. Um, but if you've seen the movie, uh, Magnet Films put it out years ago called Big Man Japan. Um, that movie really, really reminded me of the early Kanuki Man shit. But then, when we get to the wrestling tournaments and all these other characters like Terry Man and Robin Mask and um, uh, Ramen Man, um, Wars Man, and all these dudes come in, um, Brocken Man, like, shit gets real and it's super fun um oh i love those i never got into ultimate muscle like with their kids i just i'm like don't care like um not interested but that original run um was so much fun and i go back and like flip through those well on my computer all the time and if the show and jump app is watching which I don't know why the fuck they would be. Can you please put these on your fucking app so I could get your app and only pay like two bucks a month to read all the Kanuki Man shit? That would be awesome. I would love that. But for some reason, um, that's not a high priority. So get on the fucking ball, people, because that's the only thing I want. I don't want my Hero Academia or any of that. I want fucking Kanuki Man. And yes, I'm probably the only fucking person on the planet that wants it, but fucking give it to me, damn it. Okay, so that is that. Wow, I kind of went on a little bitch fest there, dude. Whew. Okay, where did I put the questions? Oh, here we go. Um, J is for Jamaica. What is the last book you read by an author from the Caribbean? Now here is where um, I'm going to start getting weird. Because, like, and maybe this is a me problem, like a fault of mine, but I usually will read a book if somebody, like, really recommends it to me. Like, oh, dude, you got to read this book. And then I'm like, okay, I'll read that book. Um, but I don't ever, I've never been, like, oh, I need to search out um, an author from this place. I've never done that. And um, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it just seems like a lot of times, like, there's people who are like, oh, yeah, so, like, I read, like, only authors from this place this month or something like that. And I always think about it, and I'm like, dude, what if all those books suck? And you're like, okay, I'm going to read all these books from this place this month because that's what I'm going to do. And then you just have a horrible experience. Like, I would rather reread books over and over again that I've read, obviously, if I know I like them and I'll enjoy it. Like, um... Like, this month we're doing the Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas read-along. And, um, I, and it's, what, the third? I started yesterday and I finished it last night. And I was just fucking cracking up the whole time. Like, um, oh, God, it's so funny. I just, I fucking love that book. And it's so funny and so anxiety-inducing. And then every once in a while, there'll be some fucking profound fucking statement in it. And it's just, and every time it hits me, like, um, that chapter where he's talking about, like, how the mid-60s in San Francisco were, and, um, how not really knowing why everything just fell apart, and he's like, and on a clear day, um, you could see from a Vegas hotel room, if you look west, you could see the high water mark. It's just, it's so fucking moving. And I'm just like, fuck, dude, that's such a good fucking bit. But anyway, 
so what I'm trying to get at, um, I don't read that way. So maybe that's something I need to, like, look into. Like, I need to do this more. But it's just, like, I have, like, my go-to shit, and I'll just keep doing my go-to shit until someone's like, oh, dude, you gotta read this. Um, but what I will say, when we started talking, well, not we started talking, but um, Jamaica, and I have my Spotify playlist, or my Spotify account, or whatever the fuck you want to call it, um, listed in the description below. But, um... I have a first wave ska and like reggae playlist, and I'm only bringing this up because uh, <laughs> Jim had a reggae reggae cookbook, and um, I thought that was badass. But um, I listen to this playlist all the time, and it's so soothing. Um, but a band that I'm just listening to so much. Oh yeah, I was gonna do this side. Is the Paragons. And this song, On the Beach, it's so funny because for the longest time, I thought the lyrics were, um, one more box of ass. And I'm like, what? And so, like, I started, like, doing research on it. And I can't play any of these songs because YouTube's fucking music Nazis. But, like, there are, like, a couple different, like, theories of what that line is. Um... It just cracks me up, but, like, there's so much cool shit, like, um, Prince Buster, Toots and the Maytals, dude, fucking hell, man, Pressure Drop is, like, the greatest song of all time, uh, The Pyramids, um, The Melodians, John Holt, oh, John Holt, dude, are you joking me right now, um, The Pioneers, uh, what else do I got in here, Derek Morgan, um, get some moon hop going, Judge Dredd, Desmond Decker, dude, oh my gosh, um, there's just so much cool shit in here, Tony Tribe, um, Dandy Livingston, I don't know if I, oh, Jimmy Cliff, Jimmy Cliff, I don't know if I have, um, what's that song, dude? Past the Duchy. I don't know if I have... I don't think it's on here for some reason. That's in a different playlist, but I fucking love that song too, dude. Um, anyway, so that's my Jamaica. That's my J for Jamaica. Jesus Christ. There's another J for you. Um, One more box of ass. So good. <laughs> okay. Um, J is for Jane Austen in July. What are you reading for Jane Austen July? Well, I read um, Lords of Chaos about uh, the satanic black metal church burnings and murders. So um, I fucking nailed that one, right? Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, wait. Where's the other one? Okay, here we go. J is for James Joyce. What are your fa what's your favorite novel by James Joyce? I've never read James Joyce. I've always wanted to. I've always thought about doing it. And someone usually talks me out of it. Um, like, a bunch of times I've talked about uh, reading Ulysses. And um, whenever I talk to someone about it, they're like, you really don't need to do it. Like, you're not missing out on anything. Like, just, you know, you don't need to. <clears throat> but that whole, like, group of people, like, the, the lost generation, like, I, I am pulled to them, and I want to read all of their stuff. Um, but for the most part, I find that period and their lives way more interesting than I found any of their work um, in general. So that's that's that. Um, have you been brave enough to tackle Finnegan's Wake? No, but I was brave enough to tackle him around the legs, and I was brave enough to tackle his mom. So um, there's that. 
And J is for joke. Tell us a bookish joke. Okay. Took me a minute to figure this one out, but... Okay. So, um, for those of you who may or may not know, years ago, I was a bartender. And this isn't part of the joke, by the way. I was a bartender, and um, for about 10 years, that was like kind of like my go-to if I didn't know what else to do or if my creative stuff wasn't um, panning out, I could always go back to bars. And so when you do that, you end up having to learn a lot of really fucking bad jokes because, you know, you want to keep your customers entertained when you are not working at like a like a club, but you're working at like a dive bar and you just have like a bunch of saddos in there at six in the morning, like, um, getting drunk and not talking. So, um, you, you learn a lot of shit jokes. So anyway, so there I was, okay. I'm in the bar. Um, and there's some fucking movie of the week on, and this guy comes in with his fucking dog Okay, and I'm like, dude, you can't have your dog in here. And he's like, oh, fuck off, man. Just let me have my dog in here. He won't hurt nobody. I'm like, all right, whatever. So the dude sits up at the bar, and then this guy's golden retriever gets up and sits on a bar stool and has his little paws on the bar. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of fucking cute. And we're, I'm like, I'm watching the movie, and the guy's watching the movie. And then, like, I look, and it looks like the dog's fucking watching the movie, okay? And I'm like, that's fucking weird. And, like, when the bad guy came up on the screen, the dog fucking stood up and started barking and growling at the bad guy. I'm like, how the fuck does he know that's the bad guy? And, like, then some, like, good shit happened, and the dog started wagging his tail and being all crazy. And then at the fucking end of the movie... Like, when the big climax happens and the bad guy gets beat, the dog's up on the bar barking, wagging his tail, all excited and shit. And I'm like, I... It's a dude. I'm like, I've never, ever fucking seen anything like that in the history of the world. That is like... I've never seen a fucking animal, like, watch a movie and react how they're supposed to react and enjoy it. Like, I, I've never seen anything like it. It's fucking brilliant. And the guy's like... You're telling me he hated the book. Are you fucking kidding me now? Dogs don't read. But yeah, so that's the bookish joke there. The dog liked the movie but hated the book. So um, so there's that. And really, I should have ended on there. That should have been the, okay, I'll see you next week. That's my time. But um, no, there is one more question here. And um, this is probably the biggest joke of them all. Uh, J is for Jaguar. Enzo Ferrari described the Jaguar E-Type XKE as the most beautiful car in the world. What do you consider the most beautiful car in the world? Well, many people will scoff, but the fucking Fiat 500, are you fucking joking? It's a very classic looking vehicle, and it hasn't really changed much over the years. I just think Fiat's are gorgeous. They're just gorgeous little tiny gorgeous fucking cars. And uh, maybe it's all the Jalo films I've watched um, to where I'm like, oh, I fucking love Fiat's, man. Um, or it's just the fact that they're cute little cars. I like little things, you know? Like, I like my little men's up there. I like my cars little. I like... Um, I like things I could put in my pocket, and a Fiat is probably the closest thing to a car that I could fit in my pocket. So, um, so yeah, the Fiat 500. So, um, as far as tagging goes, I don't know who's done this tag and who hasn't. So, um, let me let me do it like this: If you are new to BookTube, like, and and, and saying new, like. You've been on BookTube for like a year, let's say. I tag you to do this. If you've been on BookTube longer than that, if you want to do this, go ahead and do it. But, um, like, new people, I think, should really do this because it really just shows you how 
poor your spectrum of reading is. Um, so that's just that. So make sure you go over and um, subscribe to Jim's books, reading and stuff. Um, he is a Englishman living in Georgia, not the state. So um, on my website, I hate Um Yesterday I posted a poem called Huntington Beach at noon on a Thursday. And um, today I posted um, the only thing that's better than sex. So if you think you know what the answer to that is, then um, you could go over there and check that out. And um, so real quick, let's take a look one more time. Fingering the Mundane, early poems. Um, jump in there and get that. And um, yeah, so I will see you later.